Hi, my name is Bart Polson, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to use StatCrunch, an online statistics program, to calculate what is called a means plot, or means with confidence intervals, uh, for a quantitative variable broken down by a categorical variable. The first thing you need to do is get to StatCrunch.com. Second thing you need to do is to log into your account. And then we need to go get the data set that we're going to use. I'm going to be using one that's already on StatCrunch. So I come up here to where it says Explore. And I click on the little triangle here. And I open it up where it says Data. And I'm going to use a data set that I've used before. So it's going to pop up as soon as I type it. I'm going to use one called YMS Table 1.15. I hit Search. And it brings up this window. It looks like a high school right here. I click on that. And I have a data set with 51 rows. One row for each state and the District of Columbia. And several variables here. Um, one that I'm going to look at is SAT math scores by region. Now to get a means plot, what I do is I come over here to graphics and I go down to means plot. I select the outcome variable that I'm interested in, which in this case is SAT math scores. And obviously I could do more than one if I just held down the control key or the apple key on my Mac and selected each of these. But I'm going to do just one now to keep it a little simple. Also, because if I do more than one, it makes it harder to uh, put titles and labels on the charts. And I'm going to group it by region. I hit the next one, and I'm going to put some labels on it. The title should say Average SAT Math Scores by Region of US. OK. The x-axis I will put as Average SAT Oops. math score and the um, y-axis will be region of US. Okay, I'm going to ignore all of these because I'm not doing uh, many modifications and I don't need this because I'm only doing one graph. So I press create graph and ta-da, there we go. I'll make this a little bigger for a second. All right, what we have here is a quantitative variable across the bottom. It's the average SAT math score for each state or locality in the data set. These are the regions that it's broken down. And I have to admit, I don't know what they are. But it would be a pretty simple thing to go back and compare them with the names of the states um, in each one of them. I know that this one, MTN, is Mountain and includes Utah, Colorado, and a few others. And what you have for each one of these uh, is a dot that represents the mean for that particular group. So, for instance, the WSC, right? Well, actually, let me use Mountain. So, for Mountain, the mean on the SAT math is right about 540. It's in the middle of the pack. The highest mean is for WNC. The lowest mean is for SA. That might be South Atlantic. Uh, others are in between. Now, you can compare the means. That's pretty easy. But the other thing you want to look at here are the confidence intervals. That's these lines that go up and down. Um, and what a confidence interval indicates is the probable range uh, for the population mean. The idea here is that we have data from a particular sample. But, you know, there's variability within the sample. And if we were to sample, again, from the same population, and that can be a little tricky to specify exactly what the same population is, but if we were to sample from the same population, we might get means as high as this or as low as this. And this gives you a good feel for the variability um, in the data and also a good way to classify groups. So, for instance, these ones right down here are obviously lower than others because their confidence intervals don't even come close to crossing over with these ones. Uh, this one right here has a very broad confidence interval. And so even though it's higher than this one right here, the next one up, because there's so much overlap, 
they are functionally equivalent. It could just be a little fluke. The same thing with this one and with this one. Anyhow, confidence interval is an excellent way to look at the scores on a quantitative variable and to make an eyeball version of an inferential test, uh, something that we may cover more at a later date.